Hello guys, my name is Alexander Solopov and today I'm going to show you how to extract some features in Cyclones FDR and use them in Revit with the Dynamo script. One of the common tasks for surveyors, it represents the real location of repeatable elements. It could be pile, field, trees, furniture, etc. Thanks to Cyclone 3 d because it got a lot of different point cloud filters that you could combine to reach the desired outcome. I decided to take junction boxes for cables as an example. First of all, segmenting the point cloud manually the needed zone. It's very easy to do with the limit box or by using X, Y and Z sections. Wires and cable boxes are small objects, so there are in the point cloud a lot of noisy points. Use the noise filter in Cyclone 3 d for cleaning them, adjust the intensity slider. The computation is automatically launched and the points considered as a noise are highlighted. Just click OK and they will be deleted. As you could see, the cable box has got a flat bottom surface that we could use. To separate horizontal points from others, I will use the wall and floors filter. This common split points of a cloud into three categories, walls, floors and ceiling, and others. Set the angular tolerances for floors and ceilings, maximum slope, and click OK. After that, select floors and ceiling cloud and apply on it the noise filter again to delete redundant points that don't relevant to the box's surfaces. When you get the clean point cloud of the surfaces, you could apply on it filter by distance. This command split clouds into a group of point clouds based on the distance between points. Define the segmentation distance. You can use the default value, so the software will calculate the relevant value using the average distance between two points in the selected clouds. All points which have at least one neighbor less or equal to this distance are placed in the same subcloud. The distance between subclouds of the resulting list is greater than the specified distance. You can also specify minimum number of points for the resulting cloud by checking the option filter small subclouds with fewer points than the specified number. After this tool, many different cloud segments are obtained. Some of them are not what we need. Just select unnecessary segment and click the delete button. Select all the resulting point cloud segments and use the best fit plane onto them. Don't forget to enable the one shaper input option. This will allow you to create a separate base plane for each selected element. There are two ways to extract the coordinates for each plane center point. First, you could use the measure geometry tool. This command allows you to create labels from geometries and define what exactly you want to include in this label. Also, it allows you to compare values to nominal data, but we don't need them right now. Select all labels and create custom chapter for them. After that, go to report window and export all coordinates to CSV format. Or you could use a simple script that extract all coordinates and output them into the script window. You could find it in description below. In Excel, you just need to split all data into three columns and delete all extra information. Save this file somewhere you could easily reach it and run the Revit. Open the construction project and go to Manage Dynamo menu. In the period window, select Create new file and you will see the main Dynamo window. Here we need to add notes that will represent our script. First of all, let's add Excel read from file node. Then add file path and file from path nodes. Switch the Dynamo to manual mode, specify the path to the Excel file in the file path node. Connect them all together and also you should add a code block node and enter there your sheet name from the Excel file. And connect this node with the sheet name from Excel read from file node. Ok, next you should add nodes that will let you create virtual points from coordinates in the Excel file. It will be list transpose, list get item at index, number slider, which you should connect with index tab from the previous node, and select zero value in the slider. Then copy two times these two nodes and switch the slider to the first and second values as I did it. After that, you could add the node point by coordinates and connect x, y, and z values to the relevant list from previous nodes. Next, you should add family instance by point and family types nodes. Select the needed family in the family types node and connect it to the family instance. Then click run button and you will see in the Revit window all specified elements. All of them are Revit native elements and placed at the point from Excel file. It's simple Dynamo script. You could improve it by adding rotation and size information for each element. 
To add more information about wires, you could create ortho image in Cyclone 3D. Left on the screen, only cloud is needed for creating ortho image and go to texture extract ortho image. I choose background with similar color as my 3D model. In Revit, go to insert decoil and choose the decoil types. Create the new one and add your ortho image. After placement, just extend it with the Revit scale tools to the correct size. Don't forget to switch to the realistic mode to see the image on your surface. Of course, you could just add point cloud of wires to visualize them, but in some cases, this type of data could be more suitable for your customer. I hope you liked this video. If you missed something, as usual, you could find detailed explanation in the link below. If you have some questions, just send me a message or leave a comment. Thanks for watching and see you next time.